Hey everyone, welcome to our Java Calculator tutorial in NetBeans. In the last tutorial, we made our buttons work, but our operators are not working. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our operators working. So we can start now. What I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna uh, need numbers for my opera opera operations. Double number one number two and result I also need a string string s to read the number from the text area I'm gonna also need four integer numbers so both c and dc so I'm gonna tell uh, why I, I, I need these numbers when I use them okay I can go back to my design and I can right click event action and action performed so this is the uh, adding operation so what I need to do first is I need to one right number one so how I'm gonna read it with the reader class so now I'm able to read the one. So then I am going to set my text, uh, text area to empty. So and that's it. So I also want to do at C1 here and sub uh, sub C zero, multi C zero and div C zero. So I made the at C1. Because at the end of the operation, uh, we need to check which button clicked. So when I made etc1, that means the user clicked the plus button. So I, I need to copy this. And I will go my design. I will click the substitution and action performed. So I'm just going to paste it. But I need to change. What I need to change is I'm going to make the C0 and the sub C1. Okay, I will save it. I have a couple more actions. Um, so I already did that one. And you know, it takes a while. So I have also one more. And I'm going to do that. Paste it and I will make this one. I'll make this one and the rest is going to be okay. So, so now we need to read the second number. For that, we should use this equal button. Okay, what we need to do is reading a number. How are we going to read this number? Two. It's very easy. We, we're gonna use number uh, reader. Our uh, reader. Just reader. Then we need it at e. Bigger down. What we need to do is we're gonna uh, say result equals number one plus number two then that is a double number so we, we want to uh, show that result to the user but we have to convert it to a string so what we need to do is text that set text and double to string, to string, this result. That's it. And that's going to show the results. So I'm just going to copy this. I will paste it. And here, I, what I'm going to change is sub D. And it's a 
we're going to do the different operation. And the fourth one is going to be multi C. And the fourth one is going to be DC. Okay, I have to check these two. All right, and we can our calculator is all done, I guess. And there is a also a clear button we need to do. Okay, we need to do the clear button. We forgot doing that. So clear button is easy. What we need, we just need to set everything zero. So number one is going to be zero. Number two is going to be zero. Uh, we need to say zero point zero because they are double number. And we need to uh, we need our text area to empty. All right, let's save it and run it and try it. If we have a mistake, is something wrong or not? Okay, this is the, our basic calculator. Let's just try. And it seems like it works. And let's try um, 7. Okay, it seems like it works. So, if you want to have a better uh, design, you can always have it. You need to, if you don't want to see the numbers like this, you need to format the numbers. And I'm not, I'm not going to do it right now, but it's not really uh, hard to do. So thank you for watching. Please uh, subscribe our web channel. And um, if you want to download the source code, I will put the source code into uh, tutorial everything. And you can download it so you can watch the videos uh, from the website. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.